dream job. I love birds. <laughs> in a dream location. A four week stint out at Malaluka is a pretty unique opportunity. Ella Rolls and Peter Attard are volunteering for the Orange Bellied Parrot Tasmania program. We do four hours a day of observations, taking the leg band letters and colours um, so that can track them for this breeding season. Some people just really like birds and really like watching birds. Other people want to contribute and make a positive change in the world. Um, some people like the challenge of trying to help recover a threatened species. Melaleuca in Tasmania's remote southwest is also a draw card. I just love that it feels like you're in another world down here, but it's so familiar for some reason. It's like really easy, really nice just to live really basic and slow and I just love it. <laughs> it's a place where bushwalkers stop and there are some semi-permanent residents. You'd think that this role would be really solitary and you just get to hang out with each other and that's it but you get to meet so many people. After spending winter in southern mainland states the orange-bellied parrots migrate to this corner of Tasmania to breed. Five years ago there were just 17 birds in the wild. In December 70 birds were counted at Melaleuca breaking the previous year's record of 51 birds. Shannon Troy is in her eighth year working on the program. Being at the point now where things are starting to work makes you feel really good and really hopeful, but it's always cautious because it's not clear why they went downhill last time. Intensive management is helping the species now, but the aim is for a self-sufficient population. There's still a lot of work to do for this species. The orange-bellied parrots will leave Melaleuca in autumn, each embarking on a journey of at least 600 kilometres. In spring, those working on the program will be eager to see how many of the birds return. Loretta Loberger, ABC News, Melaleuca.